Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Michelle and I'm so glad you're here. Today is June 7th. Most of you guys, if not all of you guys, are probably on summer break. And as we all know, as summer comes along, I don't want any of you guys to feel worried about what you're gonna be wearing this summer if you just honestly haven't figured out your personal style yet. And I thought it would be such a fun video to make kind of like a summer outfit inspiration, basics, must-haves type of video for you guys so that you guys are all dressed up and ready to eat up summer 2024. So without further ado, let's get to the video. I have a full setup on basically what I think is just kind of like a cute must-have basic and I'll tell you where everything is from. Clothes that you can mix and match to create your outfits no matter what you're wearing. And I'm super excited because you guys know how much I love clothes. Ignore my little cute little pimple patch right here. I'm probably gonna have like a star-shaped tan by the end of the day, but you know. Sometimes that's what happens. So the first staple I would say are just a good pair of jeans. And are we for you like Michelle? Jeans are literally the most basic thing to live. Um, no, because there's 50 gazillion types of jeans. For 2024, wide leg jeans are in. Low rise, wide leg jeans. High rise if you're really into it. I personally don't like high rise because I feel like it's just not very flattering to my body shape. But I really, really love these low rise wide leg jeans from Hollister. They're pretty flattering for my body because I like when my lower half is like more wide. So it like makes my upper body appear smaller. And in the summer, lighter wash jeans are so much cuter. I know some of you guys like ride or die with dark wash, but trust me, in the summer, your tan and everything, like it'll just look so Good. For those wanting to spice their style up a little bit more, I would recommend these Princess Polly asymmetrical jeans. I have the ripped ones, so definitely ripped jeans are super cute, especially in the summer. I sized up, that's why they're low-waisted, but low-key, like, you can get them high-waisted if you just buy them in your actual size. So, moral of the story, a good pair of jeans is enough to get you through this entire summer. And whether it be jean shorts, which is the one piece of clothing that I will not put in this video because I'm still in the search for the perfect Aww. jean shorts. The first top I have is this Hollister rib knit top. I really like the buttons on it. I, this probably goes without saying, but a white top will go with any type of bottom. So even if you haven't found your perfect jeans yet, your top will probably pull through with the outfit. Building off of the previous point, I also feel like a black plain top is a very cute staple. I feel that black always just makes me look a little bit more dressed up. Honestly, that's really helpful because if you're feeling like a no effort, cute outfit, black shirt and jeans will never do you wrong. This is like a black top from Princess Polly. Super duper cute. If there was one thing from this entire video that I would say you must get, I think it's this shirt from Princess Polly. Whether it or not it's from Princess Polly, even though I really recommend these, having just a plain gray, white, black, short sleeve top will get you through a lot. Same top from Princess Polly, but in a light blue. Literally just a, if I like it, I'm gonna grab it in another color. Even though that saying is pretty cliche, it's honestly really helpful when getting clothes. This in jeans, like that's already an outfit. No thought behind my head. These are just the cutest tops to have. You can wear them with a skirt, you can wear them with jeans. You can dress them up with like a blazer, wear like a whole outfit with it, or literally pull up in like brand new mobile shorts. If you don't have a basic top like this, that's where you need to start. Switching over to more dressed up outfits. This cute baby doll top from Hollister is definitely a stable. She's simple, she's cute, she's flowing, she's elegant. Basically just the perfect top for summer. Very breathable. And you could wear this with jeans, a skirt, short, literally anything. And I just feel like these types of tops are super in this year, especially with some Adidas gazelles or campus chefs. Okay, so the next thing is this black baby doll top. The brand is Kendall and Kylie, and I just think this one is also super cute. There's a lot of cute detailing on it. You don't have to just get a white baby doll top, maybe try black, a colored baby doll top, but I've seen a bunch of really cute ones on the Hollister website. So if you're feeling more fancy, I would say go for a black top, and if you're feeling more like summer, running through a field, picnic, I recommend the white baby doll top. One type of top that I know is literally going to be in trend for the remainder of this year is this type of tank top. Half shirt, half tank top, I would say. 
it's the ones that are low back and high neckline these are super elegant you can dress them up in a bit of an old money style or honestly just wear it with jeans i got it in black because i kind of wanted to wear it as more of a going out top i got this one at target for like eight dollars little life hack for you girlies who didn't know the last going out top i'm gonna mention is the tube top for those who don't know these are basically just strapless tops this one is oddly from forever 21 and i've had this for many many years but this is just like a plain black tube top and i feel like it's cute i can crop it and make it long it's just very cute and you get to show off your collarbones and although as much as i love a simple one i also really love ones that have cute designs i've gotten this one from princess polly so cute would look really cute with like a long white skirt and then i have this one from hollister there's bows on the back super cute very summery and i feel like if you get a lighter color it can just accentuate your tan it looks so yum the next item is this white midi skirt. I got this at Princess Polly. I actually have it in two colors, the white and the black. And I just think the mini skirt is such a great staple for going out in the summer or just kind of a little bit more of a cutesy like little skirt moment going on. Like I said, the white is definitely more casual and the black just feels a little bit more dressed up. One thing that's really great that I love about just black and white is you can mix and match with literally any color. Unless you're doing black and navy, I don't love that personally, but I feel like it's definitely in this year and some people are actually pulling it off. Moving on from the different going out tops, I'm just going to show you two types of dresses that I feel like are just meant for summer. This first dress, it is a baby doll dress. Just as I said with the baby doll tops, this is kind of just like an extended version. I got this one from Princess Polly and she is absolutely so adorable. What I like to call a marshmallow dress. And basically, I love her. Ignore the fact that I cannot tie this on my own right now. These can be worn with mini heels wedges sneakers i've actually seen people wear jeans with these like the jean and dress trend definitely if you're going for a more modest look and you don't want the short baby doll top this can definitely work as a filler for that this next dress is probably one of my favorite dresses first of all this literally snatches me up princess polly really did it i definitely think just like a bodycon dress in general is such a staple and as a little accessory i have this um, shawl from princess polly and if it's getting a little chilly like just add that one up to your outfit so quick and i've seen these get sold everywhere i just actually stand by this combo i think it looks amazing the next thing i want to talk to you guys about are cute lounge pants i would say gray sweatpants especially wide leg ones are in right now i have these light gray ones from zara and i think they just fit so well and sometimes i like to roll it down like this to make them low rise and i feel like i can dress this up with like a cute tank top and make it kind of more like a cute comfy or literally just wear it with a hoodie because like why would i not i also have this slightly darker gray wide leg sweatpant these are from princess polly and i love these ones as well i feel like even though other colored sweatpants are cute gray sweatpants are the staple must-haves another must-have is just light shorts like this these can be a lifesaver especially when it gets super hot i have these cute pink ones from brandy melville that i wear like actually every single day but i also have these white linen ones from princess polly based on your preference like places like princess polly have good high-rise shorts while brandy melville is very much a low-rise girl type of brand i would say sweatshirts are probably just the cutest most comfy thing that can be worn all year round one of my personal favorites is a lululemon scuba my favorite is probably this heather gray but you can also find like a billion jillion colors of them i have a black usc one for my college and i also have a pink one but i know these are pretty pricey so I'll give you guys another of my favorites. I really love this Brandy Melville. Like, I just really love Brandy Melville hoodies and crewnecks. So comfortable, oversized, gives you that cute look. I actually cut the neckline of this one, which I really like. Another one of my absolute favorites, this Colorado one, and I got this one from Princess Polly. This is also off the shoulder. <laughs> I, I'm an addict to cutting off the necklines. And last but not least is a good zip-up hoodie. Especially if you live somewhere near the beach, you can take it on and off and it's just 
kind of a cute extra to add to your outfit. I really love the Brandy Melville ones. These are probably the only ones I'll ever buy. I have a black one, a dark gray, and then a light gray. I don't know what I would do without them. Yeah, I totally recommend. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of this outfit inspiration and just kind of basic items that I have in my closet that hopefully can help you get a little grasp on what to shop for for the summer. You don't want to buy too many things and you just want to have like staples that you can rely on. These are basically what those are for me. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll probably make more videos like this if you guys enjoy them because I really enjoy making outfit type videos. And make sure to follow my socials for more outfit inspo. I definitely post on TikTok, Instagram um, more often than I do here. And so yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. I'm actually like sweating, like my mascara is running. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Love you guys, bye. <laughs>